The 48 Laws of Power, by Robert Greene. Law 13. The Art of Influence, Mastering the Power Play. In Robert Greene's Law 13, when asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude, the essence of strategic influence and power dynamics is dissected through historical anecdotes and timeless wisdom. This law delves into the psychology of human interaction, highlighting the importance of understanding and leveraging self-interest to achieve one's goals. This summary explores the key principles, historical examples, and practical applications of Law 13, shedding light on the art of persuasion and influence. Understanding the Law Law 13 revolves around the principle that when seeking assistance, individuals should focus on appealing to the self-interest of others rather than relying on notions of mercy or gratitude. Green emphasizes the idea that people are inherently driven by their own needs, desires, and ambitions. Acknowledging this reality and tailoring requests to align with the self-interest of those in a position to help increases the likelihood of success. Historical Examples The narratives of Castruccio Castracani and Stefano di Poggio set against the backdrop of 14th century Italy, vividly illustrate the application of Law 13. Castracani's rise to power and subsequent betrayal by the Poggios exemplify the consequences of neglecting self-interest. Stefano's misguided appeal to Castracani's sense of justice and gratitude ultimately leads to the downfall of his family. Similarly, the diplomatic maneuvering in ancient Greece, where Corsaira's pragmatic approach prevailed over Corinth's appeal to past favors, reinforces the significance of prioritizing mutual interests. Fables and Wisdom Interwoven with Aesop's fable of the peasant and the apple tree, the narrative emphasizes the folly of relying on past favors and the importance of recognizing self-interest, the fable serves as a timeless allegory, portraying the peasant's short-sightedness and the tree's eventual value once its potential benefit is revealed. Observance of the Law Examining instances where the law is observed, such as the Athenians' strategic alliance with Corsaira, reinforces the pragmatic nature of power dynamics. The Athenians prioritized their future interests over Corinth's appeals to past loyalty, showcasing the supremacy of self-interest in decision-making. Keys to Power The keys to mastering Law 13 lie in understanding the psychology of those in power. Green advocates for a keen awareness of individuals' motivations, whether rooted in vanity, reputation, or financial gain. Practical Examples such as the Portuguese missionaries' failure in Japan and the successful collaboration between Genghis Khan and Yelu Chu Se, underscore the importance of aligning requests with the specific self-interests of influential figures. Reversal and Adaptation Recognizing that not everyone responds to cynical self-interest, the concept of reversal introduces the idea that some individuals derive satisfaction from acts of charity and nobility. Green advises adaptability, suggesting that individuals tailor their appeals to the unique preferences and values of those in power. Conclusion Law 13 encapsulates the art of influence, urging individuals to navigate the complex web of human dynamics by prioritizing self-interest in their interactions, through a rich tapestry of historical narratives, fables, and practical wisdom, Green illuminates the path to success in the realm of power play. Mastering this law involves a nuanced understanding of others' motivations, strategic adaptability, and a keen awareness of the timeless principles that govern human behavior.